Hello everyone, uh, yes, I, I get, I have not done a Rubik's Cube video in a long time, but, here's finally one. Um, so, this will come up, well, it depends on how many you, you will have. Once you force all your parodies, and you, um, pair up some edges, um, this, I'm not, depending on which, depending on your case, um, edges will appear flipped over. So, um, all you have to do here, this, these are called parodies, these are the 5x5 five five parody. So this, this is what a 5x5 five five parody looks like. There, there is no corner parodies, unlike the 4x4, four four, which has edge parodies and corner parodies. But since, um, the 5x5 five five has one immovable center, we cannot have those corner parodies, we can only have edge parodies. So, um... To solve these parodies, um, it takes an it takes an algorithm, obviously. Now, a lot of you guys are thinking like, oh no, I'm gonna have to memorize some really long algorithm. But actually, if you flipped it flipped that edge pair on the four x four before, we actually use the same exact algorithm on this one as we use on the four x four. So you don't have to memorize any long algorithm. Um, as you know, um, we do not use or. Ugh, we use these middle wedges here to flip over edges on the 4x4. We do the exact same thing on here, except we use this wedge here and this wedge here. We just ignore the center wedge. We're just going to pretend that's not even there. So, actually, it may look like that the center piece, the center edge piece is flipped over, but actually it's the two wing pieces. The center edge piece is actually unflippable, so it, it can't flip. It's the two wing pieces. Though. So, um... Whoops. So if you already know the um, algorithm for edge flipping on the 4x4, just apply it to this. But if you don't know, if you don't, it, ugh, if you don't, then I'll show it to you right right now. So here we go. So you're gonna bring down the right wedge. Oh wait, sorry. Make sure that your um, the edge pair that you want to flip over is facing upwards. Um, like so, it's facing towards you and it's also facing up. So you bring down the right wedge and you spin the top twice. Then you bring down the left wedge, and you spin the front twice. Then you bring the left wedge back up, spin the front twice. Now we're done with the left wedge. Then you bring down the right wedge twice, spin the top twice. Bring up the right wedge, spin the top twice. Bring the right wedge back down, spin the top twice. Then you spin the front twice, the right wedge twice, and then spin the front twice. And as you can see, the pair is now flipped over. So the only thing you do now is just apply it to these two, and then you can solve your cube just like a three by three. Sorry, it's the only one I had ready. Um. So yeah, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.